beginning, there was darkness. Then from the darkness came the mana. And with the mana, the visions. We were not alone. There were other worlds, other tribes, moving through the heavens like a plague. They would destroy us. Alone in the tribe, I possessed the second sight. The mana flowed through me like fire, unleashing the magic within. The ancient legends had foretold my coming. I was the one destined to lead. The chosen one. The shaman. The time for peace was behind us. Now was the time for war! fury of the elements. Some would live, many would die. But with faith and courage, we would destroy our enemies. And I, I would become a god. Hello everybody, welcome to Gibbon Gaming, and this is Populous, the beginning. And it was also the beginning of my playing of the games of PC, because this is the first game I ever played on PC. So let's see if this works. There's a lot of jiggery-pokery to try and get this working on my... with the recording and stuff, but looks like it's going okay. So yeah, basically this game is a... Uh, you're a shaman. You're that one. You're the guy. The main guy. And uh, you have your little guys and it's an RTS, I guess is the word. You take over the entire world. You can do this. You can go whoop. And this is the map for the level. It's a bit squidged because of the screen size, but... Yeah, lots of stuff's happening. Receive a single shot land bridge. So I played this game for a very long time. Uh, not a very long time, but like it was, I was very into it. And uh, there was a point, a point, uh, there was a point where uh, we upgraded to Windows uh, Millennium 2000, and this game didn't work anymore. I think it was a Windows 95, 98 game or something, and it sucked because it was one of my favorite games ever, and I couldn't play it. And now GOG has it. But then I put it on GOG, I got it on GOG, and it was just, it was terrible. Well, it wasn't terrible, it was just really, really difficult to, didn't really work. Uh, but I got some patch thing for it, and now it's, it looks pretty good. So yeah, what I'm getting at the moment, that just will stay forever. The Shaman is a magic man, or magic woman. And you got all these spells that you can unlock throughout the game, and it's really cool. It's like, this is a spell, this is the land bridge spell. You make land, and that's it. It connects two pieces of land together. And you can fight like, like punching them and whacking them. But I could uh, blow him up with this. Off he goes, he's dead. No, you, you've done it. You did it. See, he's dead there. When they're dead for a while, they turn into little ghosts. You see, there he goes. 
I always like that. I always like this goal, whole game. I, I like the fact that it's now working. So now there's that over there. Oh, I don't need that many. Just need one. And I got a new building technique. You've stolen the warrior hut training hut plan. So yeah, basically, I keep saying basically, you get new abilities or basically stuff you can do. So warrior huts, you steal them from the vault of knowledge, which is, I guess, that guy's vault. And you go from planet to planet. Like this is the first planet. There's not really much on it. You go from planet to planet and you, uh, you steal the knowledge from all the other tribes to become super powerful. And it's all on this whole little, little spherical map thing. Now these are guys, they're building houses. They're making the houses bigger and the houses generate people when they have people in them. So they all go inside. See that little thing there? The little guy. So I guess I'm just explaining what the game is at the moment. The cameras are kind of annoying to control. Because you, you spin around by holding the, the, the arrow. But it's not like obvious where the center of the thing is. So like if I want to spin around like this. It's like oh. Oh it's going this way. Yeah it's not obvious. These guys can do that. You. Come back and be inside this building. So yeah, the villagers build shit, the shaman shoots things and casts the magic. Obviously, you need to use the land spell to get across here. To defeat the enemy, and that's the aim of the game. you got to kill the bad guy, to kill the other guy. Steal their knowledge. I don't actually know if you can get through the level without stealing the knowledge. I think it's... You n I mean, I've never tried not getting it. Let's try this. We're well, not quite close enough. Right. Oh, I I com I connected it. Well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, and there's more of them. See, what I could do is I could just do it myself. I don't really need to train warriors for this. And if you get that guy in the water, eh, you can just kill them all in one go, and then I win. Kind of a letdown of a of an enemy, huh? But you know, it's it's because I played this game so many times. I know how to do that. In fact, there was one time I spent so much time that they're all they're all happy we won. There was one time that I spent like um oh, it's hard to explain. The obelisk that was here, the the stone head that was bowing, he gives you magic when you pray to it or whatever. You worship it and he gives you the magic. But it's temporary, right? You you only get it permanently when you get from the vault of knowledge. So it gives you four of those and then you use them up. But, it, you have to be able to get over there to win, so it keeps giving those to you until you connect the bridge, and then it stops giving them to you. So what I did once, is I tried to just use that spell to increase the amount of land everywhere, just going over the whole earth, and it took a really long time, and it was completely pointless and useless, because there's no reason for it. But I love it, and I did it anyway. And these guys are screaming really loud, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna click that. Sheesh, I should have done that earlier. So yeah. This game is fun, this game is great, this game is my favorite, and I'm glad that it is working. I mean, I say that now, it could not be working, and I just don't know. But yeah, I've never completed it, so I want to see if I can do that. Got your little little thing here. Now we must face the Matak tribe. I sense many warriors ready to stand against us. In my vision, we are aided by magic from a stone head. There must be a way to reach it. And there's the flyby mode. I think I can cancel it somehow. Yeah, yeah, press space to cancel that. I don't need to know that shit. Alright. 
You guys accept the shaman. Shaman, come here. Uh, yes, we need to go pray here. I, actually, I can do... Well, I can zoom in. I kind of like zooming in sometimes. So we got an enemy encampment. We got, we got the greens. We got the vault of knowledge. We got uh, things here. And we got more guys. And there, there he is. Well, there she is. I assume they're all female, actually. They do sound female when they cast their spells. So yeah. These guys should start building up a force. And then I can convert some of them into into a um, a bunch of guys. Warriors is what I mean by that. She should go back there. Now we've got the stone head. I think that's more lightning power. The lightning's great. Uh, it kills basically every unit instantly if it directly hits. So if you get there before they really are aware of your presence and you lightning bolt the, the enemy shaman, the enemy shaman will die. Instantly. But as the, the levels get on it gets a lot more difficult to keep track of all the different units you have. And to not get seen. Oh yes, I should send a guy. You get the magic faster if you have the, the right amount. So I need two people to get it fast enough. It will happen eventually. I can't tell whether the frame rate for this is terrible. Um, it seems okay when I'm standing still and not moving around the camera. So yeah, the basic first part of the thing is is building up your force, but not doing it too much, because if you spend too long, the shaman can come and fight. I don't think they fight in this level at all. Actually, maybe they do. Maybe they do send a guy. Oh, the tornado. Yes, good. So unlike the stone head from the last one, three tornadoes is all you get, and then it leaves. Because it's not required to complete the, the level. Right, should make another house. Right here. Oh, another guy. See, if you spend too much time building up your force, the enemy shaman can come and do one or two spells that will completely cripple you. If you do see the shaman coming, you gotta try and head them off at the pass, because like your buildings, they take a long time to rebuild if they get destroyed. And you know, if you've got a bunch of guys just standing in a group and she electrifies them with a bomb, it's bad. I do like the way they build, you look at them. They get uh, wood from the trees, the trees become smaller instead of falling over. And then they just push it into there until it has all the all the wood it needs. Then they put the wood outside that they didn't use, and then they pick that up instead of chop down a tree the next time they need to build something. Or indeed when they need to upgrade the, the building into a bigger one so that there can be more people in. And that green bar there shows the um when there's gonna be a new guy made. So yeah, now that I've got all this, uh, I think I'm gonna have somebody build one of these. And I'm gonna have the shaman go over here. Now what's in there? It's got a, so it's got a warrior in there. Yeah, the shaman can hold her own against a, a simple worker guy like this. A simple, uh, what's he called? A brave, because they're like Native American stylings, tribes and such. But the warrior can kill a shaman very easily because of the sword, so one-on-one -on -one is not a good idea. I'm just going to put her there, just in case she needs to defend. Cause she's really the uh, my only defense at the moment. Braves are kind of shit at fighting. Oh, I've gone over. Next time on Gibbon Gaming, more of the, the, this, uh, this fun and exciting adventure.